Hi, this is Dr. Ruscio, and let's discuss how probiotics can reduce flatulence and improve constipation by reducing levels of unwanted bacteria in your gut. Now, we'll be talking about a study that was recently published, and I'll put the abstract of the study up here on the screen. The study was entitled, Methanobrevibacter Attenuation via Probiotic Intervention Reduces Flatulence in Adult Humans, a non-randomized pair-designed clinical trial of efficacy. So specifically in this study, 21 subjects were given a probiotic that contained a mixture of lactobacillus and bifidobacterium strains. And they found the uh, abundances of Citrobacter, Klebsiella, methano, and, and Methanobrevibacter were reduced. So these are three bacteria that may not be great to have it in, in high quantities in the gut, and the probiotics showed the ability to reduce the abundance of each one of these. Now, more specifically regarding symptoms, as the methanobrevibacter decreased, they did show that as this bacteria decreased, and technically this is not, methanobrevibacter is not a bacteria, technically it's an archaea, you can think of it like a cousin of a bacteria, but for simplicity's sake we can call it a bacteria. Essentially, as this uh, organism, methanobrevibacter, decreased, there was a corresponding decrease in flatulence. Also, for women only, there was a reduction of constipation. Why this is salient is this methanobrevibacter um, archaea uh, organism has been correlated with reducing the motility in the intestines and has been highly correlated to constipation. So it's, it's no surprise that we see reduced gas because these organisms produce gas and a, a improvement in constipation because this organism, methanobrevibacter in particular, has been highly correlated with constipation. So what does this mean? A, a few notes for you. <clears throat> probiotics exert antibacterial effects. This is oftentimes overlooked, but probiotics, in fact, one of the, one of the main strengths or, or, or utilities of probiotics may not be that they colonize you. Most probiotics do not. However, they have a transient impact, one of which is secreting antibacterial and antifungal peptides that can help reduce fungal or bacterial overgrowths in the gut. So there are other mechanisms, but one important mechanism is the mechanism of reducing unwanted bacteria and fungus in the gut by being, ironically, antibacterial and antifungal. By decreasing these levels of unwanted bacteria and fungus in the gut, then we can have a reduction of flatulence, an improvement in constipation or, or bowel regularity, amongst other things. Now, something else here to be cognizant of is being careful not to get pulled too into marketing claims regarding probiotics. Probiotics can certainly be helpful, and I encourage people to experiment with probiotics, as long as it's from a, a reputable company and you know it's, it's a safe, tested form of probiotic that isn't filled with a bunch of garbage. Um, but you also have to be wary of, of some of the health claims because now everyone it seems is trying to one-up each other in saying that our probiotic is the, the new, improved, the best, what have you. And one of the things I continually try to, to bring us back to is looking at the evidence and looking at how we see similar results with, with different probiotics. And, and in many studies, you're, you're seeing different perturbations on a, on a certain mixture and they're all having similar results. For example, there have been many studies that have shown a, a ability to reduce gas and or improve constipation with a lactobacillus and bifidobacterium predominant blend of probiotic. Is there one special blend or one special strain that will only vector those benefits? No, that doesn't appear to be the case. Many different formulas with different strains of lactobacillus and different strains of bifidobacterium have been shown to have these positive effects. Now, that's just one class of probiotic. There are, in my opinion, three other classes. You have a Saccharomyces boulardii probiotic, which is actually a healthy fungus. You have a soil-based probiotic or a spore-forming probiotic, and this will oftentimes have various strains of the bacillus uh, family. And finally, you have E. coli, uh, Nissl 1917, and that is another class. There are a, a few other probiotics that are uh, potentially slight, slightly different from those categories, but if you look at the brunt of the research that has been done, it is, it is with one of these four categories, 
And you will see, for example, multiple studies showing an improvement in constipation with probiotics, and rarely is it the same formula that's always used. So certainly, there may be a time and a place to become more prescriptive with probiotics, but I try to prevent us from making things unnecessarily complicated. So in this case, we see that a lactobacillus bifidobacterium blend has the ability to reduce flatulence and improve constipation. The constipation improvement was in women only, but other studies have shown with a similar probiotic improvements in constipation in men and women. So if you're someone who has flatulence and or has constipation, a trial of a lactobacillus bifidobacterium predominant probiotic is certainly worth a trial. Experimenting with other probiotics to try to improve your gut health or for other health conditions is certainly warranted. Just be cautious of health claims and make sure that you're listening to your own body and clearly noticing a benefit from a probiotic in order to qualify it being something that you should use in the long term. If you're not noticing a clear benefit from it, I wouldn't continue to use a probiotic because you read how great it was or, or what have you. So probiotics can certainly be helpful. Um, we just have to be a little bit tempered in getting swept up in some of the excitement, some of the marketing, having a practical approach in terms of how we use and apply probiotics. In this case, good news for those with flatulence and or women with constipation. So this is Dr. Ruscio, and I hope this information helps you get healthy and get back to your life. Thanks.